How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't already know, I'm Andy and today we are in downtown Knoxville at the convention center for the Knoxville Auto Show. Go check out some of the latest models, maybe even drive some Chevrolets. Let's see what this day has to offer. So this video is actually going to be two parts. So at this year's Knoxville Auto Show, just like every year, there was an indoor show with all the latest models, or a lot of the latest models in this case. Um, and then, of course, outside there was a test driving event that Chevrolet puts on every year at the show. Sometimes Tesla comes along too, but this year was just Chevy. And there were so few people there that I was able to get a lot more video footage than I normally would of the Chevrolet test drives. So that's gonna be this video. The next video after this is gonna be the indoor show with all the different models. This video is strictly the Chevrolet test drives because after reviewing the footage, it was gonna be way too long, at least I think anyway, to put them both together. So enjoy this one, this part, part one of all the new Chevy models. And stay tuned for the rest of the show to come later on. Out here in the Chevrolet test drive area, they do this every year. They bring a bunch of brand new Chevy models. So you can you have a chance to just test drive and see what they're like. Looks like we got a couple of different Blazers. Looks like a Silverado Z71 with a camo package on it. That's kind of cool. Another Blazer. I don't know if they got a Camaro or not. Um, from my experience, uh, I cannot film inside the cars. They're not allowed to have their faces or voices on camera, which is just fine. So. Eh, if there's anything to tell you all about, I'll tell you all about it. I'm gonna take the uh, new, the new 2500 Silverado Z71 Carhartt edition with a Duramax diesel for a drive. This is a nice truck. I like the way it's been dressed up with the Carhartt badges, the the pinstriping. This is a good looking truck. Absolutely. Got the wheels on it too. Very nice. Uh, let's go and jump inside. Open up the interior. Got a little bit of carbon fiber looking touches on the door panel. Look at these seats. These are for the Carhartt edition. Very nice. You can get the custom floor mats for the Carhartt Edition. This is a very nice truck. It's in the driver's seat. Very commanding view of the road. This is a big truck. Nice gauge cluster down here. You got your typical Chevy infotainment system. Dual zone climate control. And a sticker. Wireless charging. Oh yes, wireless charging. Beautiful. And what do they got here? As equipped, this one is $76,000. I do like these new diesels. You can barely hear them. It almost, it sounds almost like I'm driving a gas vehicle. You can tell just looking out over the hood, this very commanding view of the road. It's crazy high up. You get into the accelerator, and you can tell it's got a diesel. Ooh, you can feel that power too. But it's definitely, they're so much quieter nowadays than they were in the past. This is very nice. Let's give some acceleration. Yeah, it's got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pull back in. Let's show the, the rear of this thing. These new trucks, these big, these new trucks, the rear end is so huge. I mean, look at this. I was comfortable in the front and in the back. This is insane. And your, your Carhartt design on the seats continues in the back. You got your climate controls here. Very a nice truck. Than they used to have in the back. So. Absolutely. These things are huge. Very nice. Another feature here in the uh, 2500 and a lot of Chevy models is this rear view mirror that's a camera. Now we can turn that off and it's just your typical rear view mirror. But if you don't like looking through the seats and everything, just turn that on and that is your rear view mirror. Now that's really a cool feature. Your 2500 also has the heads up display in front of the driver. Look at the information that it will uh, display. First of all, you do have your adjustment up and down. Uh, here we have, looks like we have our tool, four wheel drive indicator. We have a roll and pitch for going off road. You can do just the speedometer and speed limit sign. Of course you have the car in the lane for the driver assistance. We can clear all that and very nice. Of course, also you have your brightness adjustment. Very cool. One more walk around here. Very good drive, comfortable truck to drive, except for on the downtown Knoxville roads. I don't think those do, do any vehicle well, but very nice truck, very nice to drive. It's huge. It's got the very big commanding view of the road, but it's not intimidating at all, except for that one time I passed a city bus, but you know, whatever. Very nice truck, definitely way out of my price range, but very nice to drive. And I'm surprised I actually got to film during the drive, so cool. 
And I might drive a few more because I'm literally hardly holding anyone up driving any of these. Check out this Colorado ZR2 Bison package. I mean, just walk around this thing. This is this is a Raptor competitor, major Raptor competitor. It's got these factory Baja Multimatic shocks on them. Very nice wheels. It's got front lockers on it. Factory wraparound bars, front and back. I mean, this thing looks tough as can be. Tough as nails, man. I was just told by the guy here at the show that said this thing was taken out with a bunch of Raptor owners and to, to compete on, you know, off-roading. And so this thing went everywhere the Raptor could and then some. Of course, I think a Raptor is a much larger, heavier truck. So this thing's smaller, it's more nimble. It can probably get in more places. Let's see what it looks like in the interior. Now, in the interior, it looks like your standard Colorado. It's not really a lot to speak of on the inside. You do have the, uh, the AEV, the bison stitching on the headrest. That's really cool. Oh, and the floor mats. Check out the floor mats. It's got the bison on the floor mats too. Get in on that. So you got a few light interior touches on the bison. Very sparse back seat. You do have a couple of charging ports though, which is very nice. In the back, I'll have to see if this is factory option or aftermarket, but look at the, uh, the full size matching spare sitting in the back. Now this is a cool truck. Absolutely. I mean, and just look at the bumpers, man, how tough these are. You got your hooks right here to pull this thing out, or maybe it can pull other things. <laughs> Full custom bumper. I love these wheels. These are, I don't know. These are really very nice wheels. I like them. There's those shocks again, maybe with a little bit better light on them. This thing is set up to go everywhere. Let's say it's got front locking hubs. Very, very nice truck. And this truck has the little Duramax diesel. So I'm assuming a four cylinder Duramax. I don't think there's a six, but this has the Duramax diesel for the Colorado in it. Man, that's a cool looking truck. I almost buy one if I could afford a new truck. Check out the C7 Z06 rolling through. Very nice. Ooh. Turn up this hill in the Colorado, give us some, some gas. Just like with the big truck, it's a small Duramax diesel. You can hear it once you get into the accelerator, but for the most part, it just sounds and feels like a gas truck. And look at the view over the hood. It's kind of cool. Just the, the, the special hood on this bison. That's a neat view. I like it. See, so yeah, a very nice driving truck. Um, I did ask about the spare tire carrier in the bed. It is a dealer installed option, $750. Um, for the tire carrier. I didn't notice it. Looks, looks like spray and bed liner over the ZR2 logo. That's very nice. This truck is equipped as about 56,000. Very cool truck. I actually do enjoy that. It's got that Durham, that little Duramax. Kind of pretty cool. Small update on the Colorado with the little Duramax diesel. Now, I said in the cabin, it's hard to tell that it's a diesel unless you really get into it. Now, outside, you can definitely hear it's a little diesel. As it's rolling up, it did just roll up and I heard it running. So it's not like is that a gas or is it a diesel it's very clearly a diesel outside but inside you really got to get it into the accelerator to, to tell so i mean i'm very impressed that these diesel trucks are so quiet now i'm sure that's part of the you know horrendous modern day emission systems that nobody likes but it definitely offers a much nicer experience if you're looking for comfort and whatnot when you're driving a diesel truck we have the all-new blazer rs all-wheel drive now if anybody says anything i know it's, it's a crossover now, but it's okay, you know, whatever. It's a nice looking car. <laughs> um, I do like the, I do like that red color though. It's almost like the red on the, the Mazdas have, but a little bit different. It looks very nice, especially with that black roof. Got your black wheels down here. What we got, uh, 21. So we got black 21 inch wheels. This edition has got your blacked out badging. Looks very nice your front end mostly back blacked out grill got your black side skirts down here got your sporty tail lights very nice looking car black chevrolet badges more black badging down here open her up check out the inside got you some red accents here on the climate control vents you still got a mostly needle-based um, instrument cluster 
but you have a big digital screen in the center, of course your infotainment. You still have your very cool climate vents that control the temperature, trimmed in red, just like on the Camaro. Get you a little bit of red, red stitching on the, uh, the gear selector, red in the seat perforations, also red stitching to match, to go with that RS theme. This is actually very, it's actually a really nice looking car. Nice crossover. I understand the Blazer used to be a hardcore off-road SUV just like the uh, the, like the Bronco and such, but this is what Chevrolet d chose to do, and it's okay. Now, if you ask Doug DeMiro, he's going to say it's one of the most disappointing vehicles Chevrolet ever did, brought out, and with good reason. You know, it was never intended to be a crossover originally, but doesn't mean we can't still check out. While I'm at it, this is the Equinox RS in the same red color. Not quite black wheels, but very dark. Actually looks kind of good. I like the, uh, the the black badging is trimmed in red. It's a decent looking front end. They uh, definitely just tried to uh, style it differently from the Blazer. The Blazer does have a more aggressive looking front end than this. It's a nice looking car. On the inside, definitely more basic of a car. You still have some red stitching here and there, little RS badging. Um, it's definitely not as cool of an interior as the Blazer. If you're looking for a style, if you're looking for style, definitely go Blazer. But this is still not a bad looking car, but it's definitely more basic. Um, if I was going to compare it to anything I've driven recently, we had we drove that 2019 um, Malibu for a few weeks as a rental and that interior reminds me of that more so than the blazer still it's a nice looking car you had a little bit of the uh shape and the tail lights just like on the blazer but a little bit different mm, more like the malibu sort of still it's not a bad looking car but if i had to buy a chevy crossover and there's a choice between these two i definitely go blazer and <laughs> we have the third crossover we have the traverse rs now this is actually a bit bigger than either the uh what did i say that was equinox and blazer this is the traverse this is a bit bigger i do like the rear end styling looks very nice uh, now this one is in black and here you have an interior that's somewhere i do i like it better than the equinox but still not as much as the blazer it still doesn't have the cool touch you still have all the rs red stitching I like it, but uh, definitely not as much as the Blazer. Still very nice. I'm gonna fire this thing up. And watch your gauge cluster come to life. And you see these gauges light up <laughs> that you didn't see before your, your battery and temp. You got your digital speedometer right there. I need to back this thing up just a little bit. So, got a rear view camera right there, looks good. Try not to run anybody over. Take it out, see what it's like. Now we'll say this about the Blazer, you know, it's relatively comfortable. It's not bad to drive at all. Got plenty of power, 3.6 liter V6 with just over 300 horsepower. So maybe a handful more than our um, Highlander has at a three and a half liter V6. Nine speed automatic transmission. This one as equipped was what, 50,000? Um, they'll start about 44. See down here we do have you know, we have our digital speedometer. That's really the only true digital gauge in this car. It's very nice looking though. And looks like we got uh, somebody on the road here. Here's the new Z71 1500 Silverado with the Realtree Camo Edition. So look at this, you got your Realtree Camo wrap on the back. Realtree timber right there. Nice big black wheels on it. Walk around, you do have the multifunction tailgate. I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to work this stupid thing. Oh yeah, so there it is at the top dropping down. Oh, that's cool. I did not know it was like that. Oh yeah, and then there's that, this button. I think you drop the whole thing. Oh, that is cool. And then drop that again, push that down. And now you got the step into the truck. You got the handle right here. You just okay. step up and climb on in. <laughs> now that is cool. Now that, that does make it a lot easier to climb in too. That's that's cool. And this is the first time I've actually tested out the Chevrolet tail the multifunction Chevy tailgate. 
that's really cool and we just pull here put that back down flip that but let's see here push the button to flip that up and the whole thing closes up that's very cool keep walking around let's see if we had a black bumpers down here with a dual exhaust down there now if we open the doors in the interior the real tree camo theme continues in here you got it right here on the doors on all the doors actually uh, not much to say speak of on the seats or anything else um, so it's not insanely camo trimmed but it's got that nice country look in it which I do kind of like and it's got the correct engine it's got the 6.2 liter v8 yeah, it which means oh big gas power nice front end some people might hate on the front end of them but then eh, the 1500 is not so bad hi wifey <laughs> oh you do have a little bit of a little bit of camo trim on the hood as well very subtle very good looking I wasn't in very I nice wifey's gonna try climbing into the the chevy with the special tailgate now <laughs> and she's shorter and doesn't like to climb into things so she can do it that's kind of cool. It'll yeah. start up with the 6.2. Not getting a whole heck of a lot off it. If I bought this thing, it would definitely need an exhaust. That's a big engine. Wife's picking on me for that too. She's like, of course you would. Of course you would. Interior, definitely not as nice as the 2500, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a truck. So it's what you expect. It's, it's good though. Definitely missing a few features though. It looks like some more stereo controls, whatnot, but you do have your standard Chevy touchscreen and your full complement of gauges. Let's see what this is like. Let's see what this 6.2 has. In my family, it's a big, makes a big difference in everyone's life. And, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's a little bit of acceleration. <laughs> definitely not, you, de you definitely don't get the same torque and acceleration as you did in the, the big Duramax truck though. But it's not bad. All right, and this time we have the new Tahoe High Country Edition take our obligatory walk around I do like the new style on the taillights it's kind of cool looking you got a little little Chevy badge in the taillights on this side you got a little Chevrolet written out in the taillight that's kind of cool did you get a picture of the little Chevrolet emblem I did your high country badging on the hood here's the front end it's got those wild kind of c-shaped front of lamps slash turn signals Got your high country in the grill. Check this interior out though. You got this nice brown on black interior. You got screens on back head on the back of the front seat headrests, one for each side. Looks like you got your separate climate control in here. Now this is the high trim vehicle. This is very nice. Third row. I do like the piping on these seats too. Up front, look on the door panels. You got a little bit of wood right here. More of the brown. Bose sound system. Thank you. And looks here like we've got fully digital infotainment and full digital gauge cluster. And look at the animation when you close the doors. There's infotainment net back here too. <laughs> Let's go and start the engine up. And there's our fully digital gauge cluster. No I needles to be seen. Back. Okay, let them up in the back. What do we got in the back for infotainment, huh? Looks like we have an infotainment center that comes preloaded with Hulu and it has two HDMI ports. Down here to the far left of the wheel, you have your drive mode selector and those modes are actually displayed here inside of the tachometer. So we have our normal mode and we have sport mode and we have snow and ice mode and of course tow haul mode. And look at a little, a little pictures change. You got a trailer behind it now. I'm gonna put her in sport mode. <laughs> All right, over here, your gear selector is buttons now. So if we hit push reverse, oh, we have to pull reverse. <laughs> and there's our backup cam. Pull, pull it, puts it in there's drive. There's a front camera? Apparently there's a front camera as well with all kinds of different views. Let's see. Oh, there's our top down view. Hit that again, it's top down for the rear. So like for, um, hit this one here. This will look down on trailer hitch if you have one. Um, this right here. I think that's I think that's for to make the trailer invisible for Probably. backing up most likely. Um, this one right here, I imagine. Let's see. I'm not really sure what that's going to be. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Okay, so here's here it has your front, back, and both sides. So, let's see, am I in drive? Yeah. So I start moving, and you can see the view around it. That's really cool. All the cameras come to do a top down, down for a bird's eye view 
you can do different that's what that button on the side does. on each you... side this one does this turn that off and it puts it back on just the rear and front very very cool this is a very nice car and then of course if you don't want that just exit out now you've got your infotainment system you see up here your infotainment has google assistant it's got google maps so it's got fully integrated google and it locks you out yep you can still disable it very very cool car hoping this comes out good on the camera but it does also have your heads up display right here looks like it's got my my speedometer uh, speed limit sign driver um, lane keep system whatnot all displayed right here i'm sure there's a way to change what that shows oh yeah so there we go you can move it up and down change what info it shows there's the compass there's just your speed so there's only a few options to change between but that's really cool uh, i do like that it's fully adjustable and also looks like you've got your brightness adjustment too all right here to the left of the steering wheel so that's really nice to see too pulling back very commanding view of the road of course it's a high up vehicle very comfortable in here how is the back seat comfort there very nice it got plenty of red room i hope so it's high, high country <laughs> and the backpack looks like it's got plenty of leg room too that's old c2 corvette this is the second one i've seen today that's a beautiful car just driving around town see these beautiful classic so yeah very nice car now this has a 6.2 liter v8 just like in that uh, 1500 i just drove it does have an optional six cylinder diesel uh, but I, I do like this is a very very smooth comfortable vehicle um, i'm scared to know what the cost of it is <laughs> probably a lot but i really like it the wifey likes it too a lot of great technology and it's just a very nice car all right folks and that's going to do it for part one of the 2022 knoxville auto show video um, i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you enjoyed seeing the latest chevy models and some of the cool stuff that uh, general motors is putting out so, uh, some of these trucks are pretty cool I especially liked the uh, Colorado Bison with the little Duramax and uh, that Tahoe High Country was oh I wish I could afford that thing for the for me and the wife because uh, we both really like that thing very very nice car anyways once again I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you know what to do drop down and subscribe if you haven't already give the video a thumbs up and uh, share if you feel so inclined make sure to follow on social media Facebook and Instagram at that car vlog channel and check the description below for a link to a list of cars that I'll be able interested in reviewing and driving on the channel and if you have anything on there or not that you'd be willing to let me do that with hit me up on social media i'll try to work something out anyways thanks y'all so much for watching stay tuned for part two where we see the indoor show and all the other models that were there y'all have a great day